And so you joined uh, the Finding Your Parenting Mojo membership a couple of years ago. And I wonder if you can tell me a little bit about uh, what was going on in your mind when you made that decision to join? <laughs> what were you trying to achieve? <laughs> Oh, yes. Good questions. My goals have shifted a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, at the time, um, it was my goal, you know, to have my son speak Spanish and to be versed in coding and all these things. And I really just wanted to be like the perfect parent. I wanted to like give him the stage set for any kind of life that he wanted to um, and that was very exhausting um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, like not possible really. Um, so when I joined, I was really looking to become like the perfect parent, but um, what it's what it's done is, is much different than that, right? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly helped me grow as a parent, but it's also helped me shift my perspective as to kind of uh, where I want to put my energy and how to make it effective. What do you think might have happened if you'd gone down that path that you were on? Where, where do you think that would have taken you as a parent and, and in your relationship with your son? I did reach uh, a tipping point kind of with my exhaustion. Um, and um, yeah, just reached a level of anxiety that was alarming. And we all realized as a family, oh, wait, we need to change something here. <laughs> this isn't working. Um, so yeah, I was just very um, kind of in overwhelmed and, and, and filled with anxiety mostly. And I wonder, you know, if, if uh, that tipping point hadn't have happened and I just kind of chugging along on that path you know I, I think some possible outcomes could have been parental burnout um, work life burnout um, potentially even divorce hopefully not but <laughs> um, you know those those things that you know tend to, to happen when you just kind of keep chugging along in a fear-based anxious state I wonder if you can talk us through a specific challenge that you've had um, and and something that it, maybe it just just seemed like there wasn't a way out of this paper bag <laughs> and then how that shifted for you. Is there is an example that pops to mind? Yeah, I think one really surprising thing out of this, you know, improve my parenting goal, <laughs> which I'm a part of here, is that it's actually... Uh, helped me address some things in my relationship with my mother, um, which has always been very complicated. You know, I've never really stood up to my mother for myself. Um, I've always just kind of changed the subject or walked away or, you know, just, you know, like just sit there and listen with a scowl on my face or something like that. Um, and so kind of when we were talking about this, like how to raise anti-racist children, then I was thinking, you know, I do, I need to stand up to her about this thing. Mm -hmm. um, and so she said something that I didn't agree with. Um, it was about like blue versus pink diapers or something. And I was just, you know, and I, I found it offensive and I was like, I'm upset that you said that. And that's all it took. I didn't have to elaborate. <laughs> I didn't have to um, try to present any data, any argument, you know, like nothing. I, that's all it took. And and she basically, like I'd never stood up to my mother about anything. So that gave me the confidence to stand up to her about stuff that mattered to me in my relationship with her in my relation in my son's relationship with her and since i've kind of been able to address some of these things head on as they come up um and be like hey i don't want you to treat my son that way or i don't want you to treat me that way it's not fair um and she's been like and to her credit she's been super responsive and very um apologetic um and we've and so it's it's a two-way street right <laughs> But if you never stand up for yourself, then you never would know, right? Um, and you'd never have the opportunity to, to improve the situation. Um, so our relationship, my relationship with my mother has improved. And how has this shifted your relationship with your son as well? 
Yeah, so prior to this, my relationship with my son, I, I was just filled with anxiety about being the perfect parent. And so being around him was exhausting for me. Um, and I felt the need to actually, I felt this desperate need to jumpstart my career again because I needed the time away. Um, and it wasn't even, now I realize it wasn't even time away from him. It was time away from my head trying to be the perfect parent. Like it was time away from me trying to fill this role that was impossible. Um, and so once I released that, like I actually don't have to be the perfect parent. Like if I make a mistake, I can apologize. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and just tell him I made a mistake. And then that teaches him how to apologize and how to recover from mistakes. And it's amazing. So, um, so once I was able to release the stress and the anxiety of trying to be perfect around him, I was able to get close to him and yeah. be there with him. And like, now I thoroughly enjoy my time with him. And, um, you know, if he's having a tough time, um, I'm there for him and we're able to connect through that. Um, and it's just, it's very, very enjoyable to be uh, his mother now. <laughs> um, and so, and obviously like he feels more comfortable around me because I'm relaxed and I'm there for him. Um, so he's been able to like open up and be more of, of himself as well. Um, wow. Yeah, even even with a two and a half year old, like, <laughs> that personality shining through is is just is beautiful. Mm. So I'm just wondering if you could kind of draw it together. How how does it feel right now? This path that you're on, how does it feel for you? Where you are right now, and where you see yourself going? Right. Yeah. I mean, I feel super optimistic, very hopeful, uh, and yeah very inspired just by my own situation like like look at all i've accomplished like i can do even more you know like all these things that still bother me they're problems that i can solve they're not just nebulous states of reality that i have no control over um so yeah i feel really great about it um you know when i i dig into one of those things it's achy <laughs> it's painful it's growing pains you know um, but it's, it's good because I'm actually able to solve these things and I'm able to move on from them, not have them be this like burden, this heavy, um, thing that's dragging me down. So, um, yeah, I feel, I feel awesome about it.